Now see this is the again one question which is given in NCRT book here, but see here there is a cylinder. This is a cork cylindrical shape cork whose height is h and density of this cork is here it is written rho and it is put into the liquid where it is floating and density of the liquid is rho 1 and A is the area of cross section of this cylinder. This cylinder is floating whose length L is inside the liquid and that is the equilibrium position. Now, when this cylinder is pushed downward from the equilibrium, suppose it is pushed here like this. This is a by a small distance here y. So, when this cylinder is pushed downward with the small distance here the y, then this cylinder will start oscillating in the liquid. So, now you have to get its time period. So, see here first mass of the cylinder can be written m is equal to a h that is the volume of the cylinder and multiplied by the density of the cork that is here coming into rho. So, this is the mass of the cylinder. Now, when it is pushed downward by a small displacement y, it experiences upward thrust that is acting as an restoring force. So, this upward thrust whatever is acting that is trying to bring the cylinder into its equilibrium position. So, that force can be written up thrust here, weight of the liquid displaced. So, we can write here area of cross section is this, y is the displacement density of the liquid. So, this is the volume of the liquid displaced multiply by g that will becomes weight and here we write negative sign because it is acting upward and acting as restoring force. So, we can write f is equal to minus a rho 1 g into y that is f is equal to minus k y and where f is directly proportional to minus y that means motion of the cylinder is simple harmonic. So, now we can calculate its time period. So, we can write t is equal to 2 pi under root of m upon k. So, it is here 2 pi under root of a h rho divided by here a rho 1 g this will get cancelled. So, we will be getting 2 pi under root of h rho upon rho 1 g. So, this is the time period here. So, this time period easily I have calculated by just applying the concept of the restoring force and here also I have included up thrust. So, here the time period you have got, now you can get frequency also if it is required. Now, see here, next question here, the acceleration due to gravity on the surface of moon is 1.7 meter per second square. What is the time period of simple pendulum on the surface of moon? If its time period on the surface of earth is 3.5 seconds, we know time period t is equal to 2 pi under root of L upon g. Now, see here time period depends on acceleration due to gravity. Length, since length remains constant in this case, so when you are going from the surface of earth to the surface of moon, acceleration due to gravity is changing. So, we can write here for T e time period on the surface of earth 2 pi under root L upon G e and T m 2 pi under root of L upon G m. So, we can write here T m upon T e is equal to here we can get G e upon G m under root and we can write here T m is equal to T e under root of G e upon G m. G e is given acceleration due to gravity on the surface of earth that is 9.8 meter per second square. On the moon it is given G m is equal to 1.7 meter per second square and T e is given in the question that is 3.5 seconds. So, we can write T m is equal to 3.5 under root of 9.8 upon 1.7 that will be coming here on solving 8.4 second. So, the time period on the surface of the moon will become 8.4 second that means it has increased because acceleration due to gravity has decreased.